Hi, my name is Henny Heldmans. Today I'm going to show you guys managing chat interactions for the interaction desktop. Well, why? Why sometimes it is desired by the customer to chat with an agent rather than calling or emailing. It can also be used for internal communication. So I'm going to show you guys right now in the desktop uh, environment how that is done. Okay, so here we are on uh, my interaction desktop and I'm going to just um, send in a chat to me from another environment and, and you'll see me it'll in, um, alert me like a normal interaction alerts you in the desktop. Here we go, chat comes in and immediately I can see that it's alerting me from this person and I can now pick it up and of course if I pick it up there's my chat session that I've got open with my uh, whoever's sending to me. So now I get a of course, the other person will now send a um, hello to me or whatever. Let me just send that to you guys to see what it looks like. So yeah, it comes in says hello. I can now chat back to them. Says, um, hi, how are you? And send it back to him and so on. It's just a chat environment. So it's going to be a chat between you and customer or you and whoever you want to chat to. Also, of course, from here, you can add stuff like response management where it's typed out pre-response management, uh, pre-response pre um, messaging that you can drag and drop into your um, chat environments. Um, it's a normal in interaction. So you got your normal control buttons for your interaction that you can use within a normal interaction. Um, and um, once you've done with your chat, once you've gone in through your old chat, um, you can just hit the disconnect and it will disconnect the chat. Um, you notice it stays in your environment, it just grows out, grays out. I can now just close, you have to just close this for the chat to go away. If you want to initiate a chat from here, well, you just go to whoever you want to initiate a chat to in within your environment, right click on their names and then initiate a chat from here. Okay, that will then start up a chat and send that person a chat. Um, these chats, of course, get recorded in our recording environment and all that, so you can even have history of all your chats if it is a, a customer-related one. Well, guys, that is it. That is how you do a chat within the Interaction Desktop. Um, stick around for some more just-in-time videos, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.